Hey everyone, Matt's Mox here, and now that I have the ability to edit videos, I'm going to do what every other major YouTuber does. Today, we're going to be reviewing a model. We're just like Sam's trains here. It's going to be this. The, I don't even know how to pronounce it, Freshi, uh, EMD G8, G12 engine. So, let's get to the unboxing of an engine that I may or may not have already unboxed. So, let's reposition the camera or something. Or actually, despite the fact that I can now edit, I'm probably just going to open the box here. So, let me get it repositioned. So, now that the camera is repositioned, I'm going to open it from the same side that I already opened it from, but, you know... I didn't open it from. Uh, this engine is only sold in Brazil by this company. And the wording on the box is all in, I think, Portuguese. Or it could be in Spanish. But this is indeed a product of Brazil. So, yeah. It's uh, pretty nice box is pretty quality compared to some HO models that uh, you get here and uh, just slides out like so put the box to the side and uh, you know it's not like it's the world's greatest wrapped item after all uh, the handrails are included in a detail pack on the side which we'll take out later we're first gonna lift the engine from the packaging. So you can tell it's got bubble wrap, so high quality. Well, it is actually a very high quality engine compared to literally some of the stuff I've gotten. I'm actually more impressed with this than I am with another engine, which I'll review eventually, which is a Roco product. Uh, the instructions, you know, they go as the following. So yeah. Let's take a closer look at this engine. Boom. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Boom. I'm going to get copyrighted. Look at this beautiful engine. Now it's a four axle one. I didn't get the six axle one, which is also available. I got it through a uh, Brazilian supermarket, which is an account on eBay, which I assume, you know, is a literal Brazilian, like, major store. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the engine looks pretty nice overall. It's, uh, I believe it's an older shell, but with updated tooling. Let's see on the top, you can actually see through. I don't know why the hatches are open like that. Uh, it's only got the horn on the long, on the long hood side. I'm gonna modify, well, this one's gonna get completely modified to be a Newfoundland Railway one specifically number 802 unfortunately scrapped recent in more recent times i'll have to add a horn on the other side so then it could properly replicate the engine on the other side it just says you know freshy made in brazil it's got all wheel pickup uh an all wheel drive. I'm gonna open up the shell before we actually run the engine so you could see the inside. All right, I have the shell off. I did realize there's a little oil here. The engine does come lubricated. Either that's from when I pulled it out the first time or, you know, from being shipped from Brazil to, you know, all the way here. But regardless of that issue, inside the shell, uh, it's got two large weights. Which, uh, give it a lot of weight. The chassis has a lot of weight as well. Uh, dual, it's got a dual flywheel. Uh, I think it's a free pole motor, can motor, uh, board, LED lighting on the board. Which is actually pretty well assembled, honestly. Uses a single diode, but it has directional lighting. And, uh, yeah, again, uh, can motored, both trucks are powered, 
glitter both in pickup and in drive. It's got the uh, hook type couplers, which are more common with uh, European and Brazilian equipment and Australian. I'll have to eventually figure out how I'm going to swap these out for, uh, well, I might just cut them off. It really depends for when I convert it over to narrow gauge because the drive mechanism, let's get that nice and cleared up. As you can see, there's actually a lot of space in there and I will be converting this engine to a 42 inch gauge. And the best part is the shell just slides right on top. You pull the side a little bit to pop it back on. And there we go. Pops right back on. Then you add all the other details, which all the holes are fair. I did not test it yet for how well they go on. Especially because I actually had to modify mine for Newfoundland to add the uh, the full-length stanchions along the sides, which was a common trait only for the Newfoundland ones, as well as a couple which were ordered by Canadian National for another road. But let's put it on the track. And in the same clip that you've seen the motor, you're actually going to see it run live on camera. Could you believe that? Could you believe how loud it is so well okay not this this is actually isn't all that loud let's zoom out you could see my lovely messy desk let's just uh, move that i have a 3d printer now so it's kind of kind of in the way anyways let's fire this baby up in the right direction And in the other direction. I haven't even ran it in yet. So I'm going to change a little bit and I'm going to put on the rollers and we're going to hear how that sounds. Okay, now that I have the rollers set up, let's try it out. All right, so you can hear it runs pretty well. Uh, it started at its starting power, which is around, let's see, it starts at around 33, it's got a nice noise to it, we are at 90, the headlights are very bright. And this is maxed out. So, overall, it's a very quiet, very smooth running engine. In fact, we're just going to bring it to a stop. And then we're going to switch ends right about now. And let's try it in the other direction. Again, starts right up at 33. You can see the light in the cab. You're at 85, 90, and 100. And let's bring her back down and to a stop. Before we do that, let's uh, see her crawl speed. Oh. Multi-camera phone. She's like barely rolling. But still... Oh, no, she's... Very good slow speed for this engine overall. So, overall, I'd say this is a pretty good engine. Uh, yeah, 
if you do find one, again, they're on eBay. They have a very wide range of prices. Some up to like $100, some cheaper. Uh, very easy to get. It arrives within like two weeks. And yeah, that'll be all for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.